Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here with Noli. How are my adventures doing? Welcome back to another devlog. So this, this is number two, and this is talking about the starting area and what to expect out of this. So as you guys can see in this little time-lapse video is that um, I'm actually trying to figure out the whole change your character aspect of the game. So basically how I'm going to be doing this is that the starting area is going to be where you also choose your first Pokemon. First, I got to figure out the coding for that. But as of right now in this video, I'm doing a character selection start to where I will have a lot of various characters over time. You know, I might put in a lot more new characters or coded characters in the future for uh, Patreon stuff, maybe. Um, so yeah, that's something to, you know, keep an eye out for if I do decide to do Patreon. It's, it's just a thought. I, I've been learning a lot about RPG Maker XP and it's actually not too difficult, but the coding is pretty straightforward. Somewhat, <laughs> but I did go back and look into other like, you know, the default maps you know that are, that come with pokemon essential so here's where i'm actually trying to like you know figure out the coding everything because i was looking on the wiki and the wiki is coding does not work <laughs> every time i tried it failed so that was kind of really annoying you guys will see several error messages when i interact with any of the sprites that i actually put on the map so yeah that was quite troublesome but then i thought to myself like i said i was checking out the coding that was already you know implemented into the game i checked the coding for for when you first select a character and that coding seems to work a lot better than the one the wiki offers which is like uh pb change something like that I would have to go back and uh, relook at it, but yeah, just copying that and then looking inside of my my folder, which is basically the metadata. The metadata, pretty much after you put in that code, put in the number of which it belongs to. So it was actually really easy and straightforward to find out of how I can do this, and it's going to be extremely easy for me to add more characters. Um. All, this whole room is subject to change. I, I really don't like how it looks. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to be changing that. I've also talked to quite a quite a bit of fiber people, to be honest. Um, so I have something in the works with, I think, that is going to start. Well, I think they'll send me a sketch like tomorrow-ish. Ish. But, yeah. I'm going to do a before and an after. <laughs> type situation i will get i will do like these uh time time lapses once it comes to like once it comes to like making other routes or other maps just because i want to do a before and after transition to show you guys of like how i used to look into what it looks now once i get all of my uh assets that i've ordered which is going to take a long time because i am working on the main area the main area is well, the main town is the most important thing right now, but I do want to get the basics of my game well, going. So I'm going to be using assets to, you know, build that world and come up with things that I need and what I want. Um, in this, I'm going to have major capitals. I'm not going to have like, you know, um, like just towns that you can fly to. And I'm going to have actual like cities instead. And I want them to all be unique. I already have a whole bunch of ideas for it, which is going to be, you know, very costly and very time consuming, you know, over over the year and stuff like that. Uh, I can't wait to show you guys like actual progression of the game uh, right now. So I haven't started on like starters right now. I, I have a lot of ideas for starters, but I'm not going to say them right now. I want it to all be surprised, which will probably be in a couple of months right now because <laughs> I still need to make money in order to like you know get concepts to start right now I'm just I just have enough money to focus assets right now 
and maybe music later on. Yeah, as assets and music. Tau sets is what I should be saying instead of assets. Tau sets that are being created for me are going on and maybe music will be started. Maybe I'll find out some animations for like moves and stuff like that, but that'll probably be like after I get the starters. That's the main thing I want to do is just get starters and have those like prepared after I get, you know, the main town done. Because like I said, I want this to be more like a fantasy magic type world to where instead of Pokeballs, we're using like, you know, our actual magic, like magic orbs and stuff like that. Sort of like a pat thing, you know, like you made a pat with them. Yeah, yeah, that actually sounds good. Make a pat with like the monster girls. Instead of like you've captured or you made a contract or a pat. Yeah, that actually sounds a lot more fun. <laughs> uh, now I'm going to have to see if the artist I'm looking at for like character sprites can actually do something like that. That would actually be kind of sick. Hold on a second. My brain. I actually have a lot more things for that, but I'm going to I'm going to keep that to myself. But instead of um, like flying around on the monsters, I feel like, you know, I should use something else more fun instead of like, you know, since it's the magic world, I should have teleportation and an animation for it. Or I can do like witch brooms, you know, <laughs> we'll do like a witch broom or, you know, actual flying. There's a lot of things I can do with this. As for surfing, I could probably just instead of using like a Pokemon to surf on, I can actually like summon a boat. Your character could be actually actually able to summon a boat is what I should say. But yeah, uh, as you guys can see in the time lapse that I actually finally figured it out of how I can let you guys change characters. But um, only the unfortunate thing is May and Leaf don't. No, May and other characters don't have the whole running boy and all the other animations. So you would only get the sprite walking around. It, it wouldn't be like anything drastic towards like fishing. It would go back to normal like sprites. But yeah, that's the end of that uh, time lapse. So I guess I'll just keep talking here and let you guys know the few other plans that I do plan on doing. Uh, the only difficult thing is the starting area right now because I have to figure out like what codings will work for choosing a monster but the main idea that made it easier for me in my brain is to make this starting area then what i'm going to do is that i'm going to copy that starting area and rename it and rename it and remove the events of picking the pokemon and add like a closet that you guys can go to and you will enter that world again. You just won't have the choice of picking a Pokemon before you leave. That that just sounds like the best idea there. So with that, that pretty much said that that's that's actually the smartest thing. I, I'm more of like an open thinker when it comes to things like this. So that, that was just like the most simple thing I could do is just copy, copy that area and make a closet. A magic closet to where we can go in there change characters and have it port us back to where the main area is well no it's back to your room uh once you start i think i'm gonna have you in front of like probably a tv and two i get the assets for something different you will be starting from probably starting from a bed could be a good choice as well Plenty of things I can do here, dude. I'm I'm having too much fun with this. <laughs> if only I had like so many more like assets already ready, dude. Uh, I, I would be having so many exciting things for you guys. <sighs> I'm enjoying this. Uh, this this is something I'm actually full on committing to, and using my hard earned money from work <laughs> for. <laughs> so I, I hope you guys are will support me through this with that said i'll see you guys on the next one in the future devlog get in peace out
There's a reason why we fight to stay alive Until